Previously on Alan Wake. It's not a lake. It's an ocean. After saving my wife from the mysterious dark presence, I found myself trapped in the dark place. Imagination can be the enemy here. A nightmarish world that exists somewhere beyond the shores of our own existence. We're the one making all this happen. Just do what Zane tells you. Follow the same. Is all this really coming out of my head? Dark place playing tricks on you. I made my way across its ever-shifting landscape, trying to reach Thomas Zane. If you're trapped in your own nightmares, you're still going deeper. It's all in your head. You've been making it up. Really, Wake? Really? Your delusions are out of control. Get out of my head. Seriously, Al? You need to get a grip. You know reality's different here. See what I mean, Al? Al? Ugh. I think I'm stuck on this side. Well, you're gonna have to find your way out of there. I'll wait. Just remember, you're still in the dark place. You know that, right? I don't want to alarm you, pal, but it's sink or swim time. Fine. I could feel the pressure mounting. Barry was right. Time was running out. Everything I saw was a dark, twisted version of reality based on my memories and thoughts. to accept it. If all of this was from my mind, then I was the one making all this happen. I was literally fighting myself. It was a moment of clarity. After finishing departure, I felt finished myself. All I had wanted was to save Alice. After that, a part of me had been ready to just give in and die. But I hadn't given up. Thomas Sane had reached me. I had run across a nightmarish landscape following a signal from him. He kept telling me I was sinking, going too deep. I wasn't sure if he meant the dark place or insanity. Perhaps they were one and the same. Nice job, Al! So, you really are nuts, huh? Let's face it, we always knew this was coming. I guess, but I actually feel pretty rational, all things considered. Crazy people don't know they're crazy. That's where they're crazy. Hey, check out the light show behind the lodge. That's Zane's light. Yeah, you're done sinking now. That means he's just about caught up with you. You better go talk to him.
lots of fireworks here. Nice. Wake heard the old gods play. Music came out all wrong. In the track of the horrors. Get inside now, Al. The big guy busted down the door. Gonna, you know, let you non-imaginary people talk in peace. You're not coming? Nah, that wasn't much, you know. Man, you're moving up in the world, buddy. First, you have to reach yourself. The cabin? Yes, my cabin. It will not be easy. Your previous work can help you. I still have some pages of your manuscript left. Words like that have power here. It's very appropriate. I can help you reach it. 
But after that, you will be on your own. I cannot enter the cabin now. The Dark Presence made sure of that on our last encounter. You are facing yourself, the parts of your mind that are hard to control. This is not a fight anyone else can win for you. different. I was glad to have Zane with me in this place. He knew the terrain, such as it was, but a part of me wondered if he was even human anymore after so many years in this place. Lighthouse. If you can reach it, you will find the cabin. 
Now that I knew what I was facing, the environment became even wilder and stranger, like it was no longer even bothering to pretend that things were normal.
in the wheel, never getting anywhere, his life in miniature, it was useless!
stop sanity. You're doing well. Keep going. It's hard to make sense of this place. It's a dream. This is a vast place. Home to forces and beings that are completely alien. The Dark Presence. Yes. I don't know what happened to it after your final encounter. Is there any way out of here? Sometimes transmissions can be sent between worlds. You've done this yourself. But to actually leave the dark place, I haven't found a way. Stucky's gas station. Not something I particularly wanted to see, but obviously I wasn't the one in the driver's seat. Another memory made real. Blake would never make it. The insanity he was facing was already a part of it. In him. His own doing. He couldn't possibly win. He didn't even want to! At least the lighthouse was much closer now. I would have to make my way up there somehow.
The part of you that is in control is in the cabin, dreaming and insane. I don't think I like that. You represent the part of Alan Wake that is capable of rational thought and planning, which is why I'm talking to you. If that part can regain control, then you have a chance of making it. But a part of you wants to give in. There's comfort in the oblivion of dreams. You represent the part that isn't ready to quit and die. Wait! Are you telling me I'm not real? You're as real as anything else in this place. So there are two of me? Yes. And the one you called Mr. Scratch, he's me as well? No. Zane, are you playing some kind of game with me? I am not the author of your story. How can you say that when you wrote that page about me and the clicker? It wasn't one of my pages. You directed me to it. You had Weaver guard it. Yes, she was needed, and you needed to click, but I, I am not. What? I don't understand. Alan, you should keep going. Zane? Zane, come on! Well, that cleared things up. Magic lake which gave a life to the 